Hi, this is Roger from Kanka Labs and a short finding we had here at Kanka Labs when uh, measuring the characteristic curves of uh, diodes for our crystal radio set. Um, this cheap Unity UT139C multimeter, which is sold here in Germany between 30 and 40 euros, uh, which is basically crap, it's not very accurate. But anyway, it's uh, the bang for buck uh, ratio is relatively uh, good. And what I found out is that uh, the when you go to the millivolts uh, range here, there is in fact a high impedance mode. Um, that is quite useful, uh, which is nowhere documented in, in the manual. So if we are at volts mode, so for the higher voltages, I've connected my own XTEC um, multimeter, the Multimaster 570A in OPS mode to the input terminals. And at the in, in the volts range, um, there we have the typical input impedance, usually 10 mech ohms. Here we have 11 mech ohms. Now let's go over to the millivolts uh, range and we get overload. And this one is capable of measuring up to uh, 50 uh, mech ohms. And I've uh, tried it out with another multimeter, which can uh, measure uh, above 100 mech ohms. Uh, so the millivolt uh, mode in fact is uh, high impedance. Uh, there is uh, no longer the input uh, resistor divider. It's taken out. So the input signal is directly connected uh, to the ADC. And that, that is quite useful to know that when you measure very low voltages in the millivolts uh, mode, that you don't have this uh, 10 or 11 mech ohm input resistance uh, anymore, but uh, something in the range of one gig ohm. So just a short finding, uh, perhaps for one of or the other of you who owns this one, uh, quite interesting. Just make a final check to see if this is also true in AC mode. No, of course not. There they are switching in the uh, input divider of uh, with the typical here 10 mech ohms again but in uh, dc mode so uh, not, uh, good to know only in dc mode we have the high impedance mode in the millivolts range so thanks for watching until next time bye from roger bye from kanka labs